If you're unaware, Taskman mode is broken down into many different tiers, starting at beginner and going all the way up to god. Something I haven't touched on yet is the passive tier of tasks. To progress from a tier, you need to finish all the tasks within that tier but you also need to complete a certain number of passive tasks. Passive tasks are tasks, tasks, tasks. Passive tasks are tasks. They are tasks that, <laughs> they are tasks that need to be finished the same as any other task, but they might happen more passively or come up while you're working on other skills. I'm not going to actively hunt down passive tasks until I am nearing the end or finished with a tier, but due to the nature of them being passive, it is possible that I'll get them by complete mistake. Or I will see an opportunity to grab one if my current task happens to align with it. Welcome to episode three of the Taskman series, this series where we do tasks, man. Unlock the increased catch rate upgrade from Dundee's Crocodile Upgrades. So luckily I realized that you can actually catch like a multiple at a time. So I got that done pretty quick. We unlock increased catch rate and that's task complete. Collect six statuettes for Xenia. I have successfully pilfered the six statues. Unlock the Stake Master title. In the southeast corner of Hetz Oasis, there is a spot of bubbling water, which a coin can be thrown into. You. Hold up. You pay the crocodile to watch the cactus? You crouch down and peer into the water. You see the remains of a staker with a polypore staff laying aside. A man was crushed to death when the duel arena fell apart. Take his polypore staff, idiot. Successfully cook 50 salmon. I accidentally cooked 51 salmon, please forgive me. We ended up at 36 fishing and 36 cooking. Obtain a relic and cream rabbit for your player own farm. All right, I got a bunny and then I didn't realize and I instantly got another one. I just got two bunnies so quick. I didn't even have time to register. I got the first one. Obtain a uniquely colored villager outfit. The outfit is bought from Djibouti. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. A set costs a total of 1,000 trading sticks. The set can be stored in the armor's case of your house. I have completed the jungle potion quest that puts us at 27 Yerblor. This is so intriguing to me. If you walk on this tile, it just kicks you out. What the hell? Why does it do? That's so weird. My sick four tick trick. Maintain, I didn't get to re, oh. Maintain nearly maximum stamina when mining for 60 seconds. That's our first passive task done. Am I mining the right rock? Oops. <laughs> I will drop all these for I am a silly fool. Uh, I overdid it a tad. I got 1500 instead of a thousand. I have no left nipple. Oh, I forgot a piece. I'm glad I checked that because I was about to just assume I was done. There is an armband. Now we are done. Complete the easy Ardoin achievement diary. Ardoin, I guess. I don't care. We got a lot to do for this one. I have all the skills, but we got to do Biohazard, Plague City, Gertrude's Camp, Monk's Friend, and Tower of Life. Am I recording? Yeah, Plague City done. We got the Ardoin teleport, which we need 51 magic for. With 31 mining, and now we can also do biohazard. Biohazard complete. Would you be scared if this guy was standing at your bedroom window? Eight law ruins, let's go. I actually don't have any law ruins, so that's kind of nice. That put us at 50 wood cutting? Our first level 50 skill and 38 mining. Wait, no, no it didn't. I just had 30 of mining from earlier. <laughs> Gertrude's stupid, ugly, dumbass, fat, little asshole cat complete. This quest is insane. We hit 30 crafting and 23 construction. And now we have all the quests done and all the skills required to do our task. While I'm down here, uh, I don't actually know 
Is this the right one? Nope. Nope. Nay. Yes. This whole quest revolves around this creature being forced into this world and being immediately in mind-shattering pain. So it's a little weird that the reward from this quest is him being like, hey, you want to summon things and make abominations? Old quests, old quests are so weird. I profited a unicorn horn. That is not worth it. So we've hit our first, well, I guess our second, really, instance of a time-gated task. I have two tasks remaining in the Ardon Diary. One is to sell silk to the trader, but I stole the silks to sell to him, so I have to wait for like 30 minutes to an hour. And I also have to raise this stupid, dumb kitten. So, per the rules, I am allowed to finish the task, but I must return as soon as I can. Obtain a jug of wine from Patrick, the observatory assistant. Give me your wine or I'll snap your kneecaps backwards. Hand in 200 stardust to a star sprite. I got to this one a little late. <laughs> I didn't realize, I'm so dumb. I didn't realize I didn't even have my friends chat on. So like last episode when I joined the Evil Trees chat, no one was talking because I didn't have my friends chat on. <laughs> I did the same thing here, I was mining and then I was like, you know, I feel like I'd, someone has to have said something by now. Shout out to these FCs that help people find this stuff. I have like really, really, really bad social anxiety. This method of being able to kind of just observe and figure things out is, is very helpful for me. I appreciate y'all. Hey, there's 40 mining. The XP on these things is pretty good. I guess that's why people still do them. I don't know if the rewards are anything to write home about. I didn't actually look into it. Oh, you can you cap at 200. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna stay here for the mining XP. Wait, am I allowed to do that? No, oh, I don't know. It's late and I'm awake. I got 20. Oh, no, no, I got, okay. I thought I got 20 Goldstone Spirits and I was about to uh, burn down Jagex HQ. I'm doing 295 Gobi Reputation by completing three tasks from Trinks and resolving the mystery of the five stone fragments. Trinks can be found in the village Kanata on Mascabs. You can give you three tasks per day for a total of 45 reputation. Additionally, there are five stone tablets scattered on Mascab, which will give you 50 reputation each when offered to the ancient statue for the first time. How did the Gobies sculpt these mountains with their tiny little stumpy arms? That's incredible. The Eret are encroaching on our land to the west. Please, could you help us fight them off by killing 10 of them? Uh, what? Oh. Oh, I guess the poison makes them a lot weaker? Because, um, yeah, I don't think I'm killing any Arids. Hello, my friend. Would you like a drink? A delicious beverage? He's sickly. He's still 122, though. Oh, it makes it so they scale to you. Ah, I gotcha. You think, you think you still get drops? You think I'm gonna get a pair of Razorback gloves? There's the first 250 reputation. Now I'm, now I just gotta get back to killing these Arids. Some of our elders have fallen sick. We need the fruit from a potly plant. Please find one in Nemi Forest. Look at Yo, the pathly plant got me kinda thinking. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's weird. Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't put it in my home. Fences around Kanata have been torn apart in an errant ambush. It would really help us out if you could repair 10 of them. Uh, yes. That's all my tasks done, which puts us at 295 reputation and finishes the task. Obtain the Shard of Erebus. You know what amazes me the most about this mini game? The fact that I didn't have to pick up my cat. I could pet him, I could feed him. Usually when you do stuff like this, you gotta pick it up. It's just, it's amazing. The RuneScape's uh, going crazy. The, the future is now. Have I expressed my absolute disdain for pictures and text cutscenes? So disappointing. So underwhelming. As, as a RuneScape lore lover, just, ugh. I like, I get it. I understand why. It just sucks. Anyway, we got the Shard of Erebus. Battle of the Monolith is complete. It's time for a new task. Oh, also, Zaros is a little bitch. Don't at me. Acquire 100% sprite focus five times without losing focus on the time sprite. I believe this should be my fifth time. I honestly haven't been paying that much attention. 
Hey look, over here! Is that a reference to the hit video game franchise The Legend of Zelda featuring Link? No? Complete the second Dork task. You must speak to Dork to receive his work order to smith two steel chain bodies and a cannon repair part. This requires a smithing level of 20 in completion of the Death Plateau quest. I have successfully reached level 20 in the smithing skill. Our cat has finally grown up, which means I can uh, go finish this task set now. Wait, put the cat in the furnace. Is that an achievement? That is the final easy Ardon task done. Uh, I'm not actually gonna sell my cat because I'll need it for more things later. Shut up, dork. Thanks for the cloak. Yo, it's actually not bad stat-wise. We got an antique lamp, which I will put on the Urblor skill. Or will I? Yes, I will. 1,000 XP for Urblor, it puts us at 28. Now back to our current task. I have to sneeze. Let me sneeze every episode. Whoa, damn, damn, damn! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> he was so speedy! Dork's task 2 done. Puts us at 22 smithing. Discover all words in each chapter of the Needle Skips quest. The Needle Skips complete? I think I did everything I need to do. I think I have to leave the instance and talk to her again. Okay, let's just, let's do some construction and let's do some more construction. And that puts us at 25 construction. And then I guess I have to go back into the quest and I don't know, that's weird. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, I understand. So I thought because I got all of these, I was good. You have to discover literally every word you can type in here. Just to give you an idea, this is every word you need to type in for just chapter one. Every every chapter has all these words. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's, um, it's a little tedious. <laughs> Okay, I think I did all the words. I hope I did all the words. <laughs> Please give me the lamp. Please give me the lamp. No. No. <laughs> I was really worried I would have to retype like every word, but I read the task again. The little flavor text at the bottom states that clicking on a fragment opens up a little more information with the words on the right. If there's a question mark, you're still missing a word. So I just had to go back and check which sections or chapters were missing a word. There's the large lamp. Oh my god. Is this the citizens of Morton for good? Cure Razmeyer Keelgen and the Ulsquire Chauncey permanently of their affliction using a Serum 208. I'm kind of amazed at how many people are here. I mean, I know it's the official world, but like, sometimes you forget people play this game. Kind of used to playing this as a single player game, if I'm honest. It's interesting how many things playing this mode is illuminated for me that I didn't even expect. There we go. Permanently cure Rasmir and Ulsquire after Shades of Morton. Well, actually, I haven't finished Shades of Morton yet, but I will do that first. I'm allowed to do that, right? Shades of Morton complete. Pretty good rewards. Puts us at 29 herbal and 31 crafting. I guess I'll just hold on to this key. And this dead guy. The local gives you some olive oil. Oh, I had a dose left, so I just used it on a guy. I didn't even think it would work, if I'm honest. Free olive oil, though. Chug that by the boatload. Go into your kitchen and chug a bottle of olive oil right now. Create 10 spirit spider pouches. Spirit spiders are created by using a summoning pouch and a summoning bottle with eight spirit shards, a gold charm, a spider carcass, and a summoning level of 10. First, I need to hit 10 uh, summoning. So I need some raw chickens. But as would have it, killing these chickens is gonna put me at any second now. Any second now. 40, uh, 40 magic. 40 magic. 40 magic. I got a cornucopia. I thought this was like an outdated, or not outdated, but 
what's the word when an item doesn't exist anymore it's not outdated it's uh I thought, I don't know, I thought the thing wasn't in, even in the damn game anymore. But it is a collection slot item, so I will take it. Should hit me up to 10 summoning. Now we can make the spiders. Now I just gotta go round up some spider carcasses. Just like mama used to make. Hoi! up to play my song, the butterflies we. Not in my head like. Moving my hips like. Was that 10? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Task complete. Enter a new resource dungeon. You may enter any of the listed dungeons for which you already have the requirements. If you do not have any available, do you level your dungeoneering until you can complete the task? Okay, well, this is easy. We are like 30 something dungeoneering, so we have a few actually we can go in. I'm just gonna start at the lowest level one and work my way up, because I'm pretty sure there are multiple um, of these ch 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 challenges. <laughs> I took my anxiety med and now my brain's um, gooey. So, boom bam, we ride the snake. We get a pretty decent chunk of XP. And that's 35 dungeoneering and task complete. What the fuck is your problem? Stop. Dude, stop, I'm not kidding, stop. It's not funny, stop. Super duper secret task number 54. The bolt pouch can be purchased from Hirko, the owner of the Keldigrim crossbow shop. This is done by talking to him and not by opening a store. If there are no requirements to enter Keldigrim, the quest the giant dwarf does not have to be started. Really? That's interesting, I didn't know that you could get into Keldigrim without the quest. I spent longer than an hour trying to figure out how to get into Keldegrim. I mean, obviously I know how to get into Keldegrim, you just take the boat. But the task said that you didn't need to start the quest, and I was under the impression that taking the boat started the quest. Only to figure out after looking all over the wiki that uh, you can just take the boat and it doesn't start the quest now. I, I guess that was changed at some point. Register a total of one unique item in the Asgarnia and Miscellaneous section of your Slayer collection log. We have already done that because we got Goblin Mail. Register a total of two unique items in the Asgarnia and Miscella Miscellaneous section of your Slayer collection log. Guess what, bitch? I got a cornucopia. I'm already done. Try me. Ah, oh, fuck. Before we get started, let's see if we can get some upgrades because this staff is not doing it. Level 30, perfect. Give me one of those, give me one of these. Awesome, hopefully we can actually make some headway on the fungal mages and this won't take forever. That was a pretty smooth kill, actually. Not bad. Maybe this won't be so terrible. We're halfway to the amount of fungal flakes I need. A little more than half, 561, we need 1,000. I just hit 47 magic and 38 HP. I'm loving the drops. 96 potato cactus, big ballin'. Polypore spores might be useful for something. I'm not actually sure. I'm sure I'll have to make like a polypore. I just hit my water bottle, I'm sorry. Seeds, bunch of herbal or supplies. Like it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Buy the mycelium legs and we have our second piece of I thought I did something wrong for a second. Wait, that's right, Fung fungal? Yes, fungal, I don't know why that looked wrong to me. Uh, still can't wear it. Complete the beginner lumberage achievement diary. Beginner lumberage tasks done. There's a 30 Orblor. Return Petruchio's Feather. It is very, 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 very tiny. Are these guys gonna fold me? That's uh, probably fine. I went the wrong way. Oh. Wow, that feather is very, very small. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I didn't bring food. Don't kill me. Is this even the right house? I don't think this is the right house. Stop. 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 This is also the wrong house. Oh no, I'm toasted! Oh, there it is. Put that shit in there. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Survive Gilinor's most notorious pub crawl. Oh my god, alright. Oh, oh, oh. All the drinks have been consumed. And my stats have been absolutely slaughtered. 
unlock rank 10 esteem. This could be bought from Wizard Phoenix for 15 ruin span points. There's our first ever ruin crafting level. I think you just get points. Yeah, when you hand in your ruins at the end of this. I, I don't think I've literally ever spent a point. This is coming from someone who got 99 rune crafting. All at ruin span. I didn't know you could buy things that were important. Uh, Steam, one. Nope, 10. That I was like, wait a minute, what have I gotten myself into for a second? Esteem 10. Yes, by the Claim two armor sets after the death of chivalry. The Templar armor is found in one of the coffins within the Tomb of the Fallen, while the Dulcet armor is while the Dulcet armor is reported upon defeating Dawn once more after the death of chivalry. You have unlocked the Captain Dulcet cosmetic override outfit. Claim all. Templar armor obtained. Find the Totem of Intimidation top by searching rubble on Anachronia. It would be very nice if I could get the full Totem of Intimidation before I actually go to God Wars 1. That would be pretty sick, but I don't know how the tasks shake out, so we'll see. Sick. Obtain the Duelist Cap and the Wild Stalker Helmet. The helmet can be obtained by talking to Mr. X north of the Edgewell Bank. The cap can be obtained by talking to Estocada in Northeast Alcarid. Uh, I kind of hate them both. Partake in Darrow's training session after Monkey Madness. Oh no. You know the Ruinscape cutscene's gonna be raw as hell when it makes you wide. You just passed 50 quest points. Visit Mad or Quest Point Shop to see what extra rewards you unlocked. Ayo. Uh, 7,900 agility XP, putting us at 31. 18K combat XP, 17 range levels. I don't have protect from melee, so there's a good chance that I just get the shit kicked out of me. Between the traps and the monkeys beating the crap out of me, yeah, I should have brought more food. Ugh, now I'm out of run energy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Eat them cakes, boy, eat them cakes. Okay, we made it past the deadliest part, but I only have one cake left, and I really don't want to waste my bananas. I need these. We made it. <laughs> oh, but it was, uh... This game a little dicey. God, it was the psychopath who decided to make it so you can't walk through these big-ass gorillas. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and they're coming for me. I made a mistake! Do they ever stop? Oh, he's gone. Wait. Oh, he's not? Oh, shit. It's time for the last boss fight of the quest. Uh, I think it should go okay. I could probably get more food. I was mostly worried about the cave part. I mean, as you saw, I kind of got the shit kicked out of me in there. Oh, I don't know. I can't imagine this demon's going to be too tough, even without protection prayers. I might have lied. That did a lot. Uh, I lied. That's the he's doing a quite a hefty amount of damage. Oh, oh, okay. They're hitting him for tens and fives. You're joking. I'm just gonna do as much damage as I can, and when I run out of food, I guess I'll I'll just have to let the the gnomes finish him off. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, well. I got him to 8,500 health. I knew there was a boss fight at the end of the quest, obviously, but I honestly thought that would be a, the simple part. I thought the caves would be the part that did me in, if anything. Okay, they are absurdly weak. Uh, it might be faster to just get a full inventory of food. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. That's gonna kill me. No! <laughs> it's not like I'm a hardcore, but I'm not happy about it. Bunk Wicked. Get him, King. Send him. Hit him? Yeah! Oh, uh, yeah. Just anything. Oh, so close. Come on. Just hit with anything. Ooh, but don't die! Oh, that could kill me. That could kill me. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna go pee. How we doing, boys? 
Uh, oh, hey, five health, nice. Do I have to kill him? I might have to land the finishing blow. The problem is, I don't know if I can land the finishing. Oh, okay, <laughs> we got him. Monkey Madness, one of the most iconic, in my opinion, RuneScape quests out there. It's complete. We can do the Apatol agility course. We got three diamonds. Monkey in your backpack. But most importantly, the greatest reward of the whole quest and our current task is the after quest training you can do. We are going to focus on attack and defense because good God, my defense needs some work. That is a combined 110k XP. We get Jesus. 16 strength levels, 5 HP levels, 11 attack levels, and 22 defense levels. We're combat level 55. We have a total level of 748. And our task is complete.